uh, is very cardinal as far as uh, Christian faith and Christendom is concerned because um, everything culminated in um, Easter. Uh, because if there was no Easter, then there wouldn't be Christian faith. It simply means celebration and commemoration of the resurrection of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came into the world. God sent His only begotten Son into the world to save the world. So he was the savior, he was the Messiah. But for him to be able to save the world, there was need that he would go through the cross to be able to stand out as a savior of mankind, to stand out as a life giver, to stand out as the redeemer. And that was what actually took place over 2000 years ago. He had to go the, the way of Golgotha, he was crucified, even in ignorance. People who were crucifying him, they never knew that they were carrying out divine assignment. Because there was need that one man must die for the sins of all. And God, in his wisdom, then chose his only begotten son, who was given birth to by immaculate conception as a sinless uh, species. To be able to save the sinful. So, all these things culminated to the fact that he resurrected on the third day. And that third day is what we call Easter. So, Easter is all about the resurrection of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. There's a very strong connection. Because Jesus died to bring about peace to the world. Isaiah, over 500 years before he was born, prophesied. He said that unto us a son, a child is born, unto us a son is given. That the government shall be upon his shoulder. In verse number 7, that's precisely Isaiah chapter, chapter 9. In verse number 7 it says, that the increase of his government and reign, his government and peace, increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. So being the prince of peace himself, who in beatitude, he thought that peacemakers are children of God. And the apostles copied it. Paul was able to request his followers to as much as they can to live peaceably with all men and also that without peace no eye can see God so now the salvation that Jesus has brought to us by his resurrection that is the power that brings about transformation change of life what we call new birth regeneration it is the power of resurrection if Jesus didn't resurrect, there would be no such power. Power that makes a sinner to become a saint. Power that converts a criminal and he be a man robber. He becomes a preacher of the gospel. Power that converts a harlot, a prostitute, and she becomes an evangelist. It is this power, this power of resurrection of Jesus Christ. So it's still the same power that can ensure that we have a peaceful world. And that's why whatever peace that we pursue outside Christ <laughs> has limitations. And that's why those of us who are into peace advocacy and we have Christ in our lives as the Prince of Peace, then we can talk about sustainable peace. And where you have sustainable peace, then you can also talk about sustainable development. Jesus said that you are the light of the world, you are the salt of the earth. If you lose your server, you are good for nothing. If you carry your light and put it under a bushel, you are a disappointment to the kingdom of God. Christians should know their place in the scheme of things, in the plan of God. 
they should know their place and take their place. The disappointment we are getting today is that Christians don't know when they are strategically positioned in places of influence, instead of shining as light, they turn to darkness. It's too disappointing. God has set this set of people, regenerated by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, as a shining light. Anywhere you are, shine so that people can see. Without you, they cannot see. As the sword, anywhere you are, preserve the situation from decaying. But you see that we are falling short of that. So we use this uh, uh, opportunity of Easter celebration to uh, to call back Christians to back to their duty post. It's time to return back to the persons that God has made you and the positions that God has kept you, has given to you, and they represent Him fully as the light, as peacemakers, to bring about a peaceful world. Don't be an instrument of chaos, instrument of violence, instrument of quarrel, instrument of fight and toggery. No, that is not where you belong. You are a special species by your new birth in Christ. <laughs>